Now let's see what's inside the box. And we also got markers inside the package. You will also find like six millimeter mark reflect markers. Okay, so here we go. We got the main character here. And let me take out. Next, we have a silicon case designed to prevent wear and tear on the device while providing a more comfortable grip experience. Remove the silicon case. We can see this elegant design and the portable all-in-one form of the Einsta Vega. It features a built-in 2K OLED display for clean visuals and energy saving. And on the right side, you can see a convenient power button on the side. You can press and hold the button to open your scanner or one quick click to lock your screen. On the top is a multiple functional button. A USB Type-C to C cable is equipped to support power charging and data transmission. And here is a wisp strap and a ring screw to prevent the device from falling. We have a calibration board and the holder. Uh, after a long journey or you haven't used the scanner for more than seven days, we recommend to calibrate the Einstein Vega to ensure its performance at its best. We also provide a 65 watts power adapter with dual Type-C ports which can be used to charge the device via a Type-C cable. And this is the card of the Einstein Vegas Quick Start Guide. You can see the QR code on the back side. And you can also use your smartphone or other mobile devices uh, using the camera to scan the QR code directly to get the latest version of the Quick Start Guide. And we also have another surprise for you. Uh, this time we add our shiny mascot in the package as a gift, especially for beginners. You can start from scanning the shiny first. Hold the Einstein Vega without blocking cameras, LED lights, and ventilation. Keep the cameras and project boards clean without dirt and fingerprints. Hold the scanner and press the power button for 3 seconds. Wait for the screen to light up and the boot animation to finish. Select system language, which can be changed later. Accept privacy policy. Connect Wi-Fi. Log into Shining account. Please carefully read this tutorial. Once you have finished reading, you can start using Insta Vega and enjoy seamless scanning. Step 1. Preparation Ensure you have a calibration board and a bracket holder. Check the surface of the calibration board is clean and free of scratches. Ensure the numbers of the calibration board match those in the calibration board settings of the Vega. 
If not, you can enter the calibration board to scan the QR code and bind them together. Place the calibration board on a flat surface. Make sure the ambient lighting and the temperature are good. Calibration includes two parts, HD calibration and the FOST calibration. Step 2. HD calibration. Hold the Vega without blocking the projectors, cameras, optical components, and the ventilators. Ensure there are no grease, dirt, or fingerprints on the camera side. Swipe down to the top menu and find Calibration. Enter the calibration interface and click Start Calibration. Hold Vega parallel to a flat surface and align the cameras to the calibration board. Ensure the ambient lighting is naturally soft if the light is too dim or too bright, please adjust the LED brightness slider on the left to a proper level. Keep a proper distance and slowly pull the scanner up towards the calibration board and then capture the circles on the screen one by one. Ensure the camera is focused on the center of the four large markers. Next. Place the calibration board on the bracket holder as instructed. Repeat the steps. After the process of generating calibration result is finished, a notification will appear. Click Apply to confirm. Vega will restart automatically if the calibration is successful. Calibration data will then be written into the Vega. Welcome back to the tutorial for Insta Vega. In this video, we're going to learn about the major steps for setting up scan modes in your Insta Vega. We're going to explore the HD mode, the fast mode, the advanced settings, and the alignment mode. Let's get started. First, let's choose the right scan mode based on your requirements and the size of object you're going to scan. HD mode is perfect for small and intricate objects with high detail. On the other hand, fast mode is designed for medium to large objects and offer a higher scanning speed. Now you can choose the mode that best fits your project needs. Next, let's further explore the advanced settings. Here you will choose between object mode and portrait mode depending on what you are scanning an object, or a human. And here you can select the resolution level from low, medium, to high based on your requirements. If color texture is needed, turn on acquire texture. Otherwise, you can leave it off for a scan without color. Scanning with texture usually takes a little longer time than non-texture scanning. Now let's select the appropriate alignment mode based on the features of your object. Feature alignment is enabled by default. This mode aligns the scan data based on rich geometric features suitable for most objects. If you've enabled acquired texture, you can select texture alignment. This mode works best for objects with rich and irregular textures, but less features. I would like to suggest you to choose feature alignment as the first option if the object has rich geometry. Lastly, we have marker alignment. It is useful for objects with repetitive or less geometry features. Marker alignment also helps a better accuracy. Be sure to apply the markers randomly and evenly across the surface of the object to ensure accurate alignment. With marker alignment, you can achieve precise results even on less detailed objects. And there you have it!
use a Type C data cable to connect the Vega to your computer. And after starting the Starvision software, a profit will appear. Choose File Transfer to begin post processing and more adjustments. Import your data to Workspace or Model Library. Find your data in Workspace. You can choose one click processing or manual processing as same as the option on Vega application. Edit your data by enabling cropping button. Select and delete data. Click texture display to hide or show the texture. Click here to orientate the original view. We provide multiple projects alignment function for you to combine different scan data together via the same feature or markers. You can choose an auto alignment or manual alignment. In the lower left corner, you can view data information including frame, points, numbers, scan modes. When mesh generated, you can choose copying to delete unwanted data. We also provide various mesh editing functions like texture, alignment, simplifying, mesh smoothness, remote isolated surface and fuel holes. You can export it to your laptop with various formats like OBJ, STL, PLY or share your model on Shining 3D Digital Cloud. Thank you for watching.